Welcome to day two of the first ever Global.next digital experience. I'm your host, Georgie Barrett. Now, if you thought yesterday's session was action packed, then you better hold on tight because today we are going a bit deeper with product demos, customer use cases, and panel discussions with our partner community. The day is going to culminate with the Dot Next show featuring performers from all over the world, along with the worldwide superstar Trevor Noah. Oh, yes, we are hitting the big time. We're also going to be hearing from a cast of thought leaders and Nutanix technology partners, starting with a deep dive on the Nutanix multi-cloud vision. So to get us started, please welcome Senior Vice President of Product and Solutions Marketing, Monica Kumar. Take it away, Monica. Thank you so much, Georgie. I'm super excited to be here and I'm so grateful that you chose to join us today. Now, it would be an understatement to say that the world is changing. You know, change has become a constant part of our lives. And the one thing that's helping us navigate change is technology. But of course, technology is a means to an end. The end is really business outcomes. It's really making human lives better. And in fact, if you think about it, that's the guiding principle for, Nut for Nutanix. That's how we were founded. We have a single mission of making sure we are simplifying IT. And initially when we started, it was all about simplifying IT infrastructure, deployment and management. But since then, our portfolio has expanded tremendously. So not only do we offer the digital hyper-converged infrastructure and many, many more innovations in our last decade, we've expanded to include multiple data center services around storage, business continuity, disaster recovery, networking. We also offer DevOps and database services around cloud native application development, around application deployment, database as a service. And then of course, it's desktop services and user computing, digital workspaces, VDI, desktop as a service. And so if you look at the Nutanix portfolio today, it's a whole platform, it's a cloud platform where you can now deploy all of your applications. You can build them, you can run them, you can manage them. Applications like enterprise apps, your databases, um, analytics applications, you can build cloud native apps and run them and use a computing workloads and on and on and on. So again, the notion of one platform, any application, and then any cloud is where the multi-cloud and hybrid cloud solutions come in from Nutanix. And that's exactly what we want to talk about today in the next 80 minutes or so is talk about all the innovations that Nutanix is bringing to market and to you, our customers, to help you run better, faster, and anywhere. So you can then focus on your business outcomes and not have to worry about your IT infrastructure and data center services and DevOps and database services and desktop services. So to do that, I'm going to welcome my colleague and Nutanix's chief technology officer, Rajiv Mirani, to join me and we're going to talk about running better and faster. Hey, welcome, Rajiv. Thanks, Monica. Coincidentally, with the amount I've been eating during the lockdown, my trainer has been telling me to run faster, run better, or simply just run. So what does run better mean? For us, it means running of all applications. It means running all applications, whether they're the most demanding traditional applications, big data applications, or modern cloud-native applications. And it means running them on infrastructure that's simple, resilient, scalable, and secure so that IT can focus on outcomes rather than just keeping the lights on. For example, take AHV. With AHV, we've been laser focused on delivering the capabilities that customers have asked us for the most. Things like continuous protection with synchronous replication, support for AMD processors up to 64 cores, and support for the most demanding applications like SAP HANA at scale. We have more to come with cross-cluster live migration supporting metro clustering, vGPU live migration, and much more. So it's no surprise that AHV now is about half of our nodes shipped across our customer base for the last 12 months. We continue to invest heavily in native virtualization and in making compute truly invisible. Well, that's fantastic, Rajiv. I want to talk about now uh, operations and management. Obviously, that's a big challenge for IT in removing the complexity of management. 
And I know that Nutanix has focused on this from day one. We have many features in our uh, solutions that help uh, make it easier for IT to manage. Can you talk about some of the new innovations in that space? That's right, Monica. On manageability, our focus has been on simplicity and scale. We recently launched Foundation Central, which allows for one-click deployment and provisioning of Nutanix clusters from a single central location. For our customers who have tens, hundreds, or even thousands of sites, it's a real game changer. We continue to enhance Prism. We are adding SaaS-based application insights for performance monitoring and troubleshooting. This will come in a new edition of Prism called Prism Ultimate, which will also include capabilities such as budgets and chargeback. On Prism Pro, we are opening up infrastructure monitoring to non-Nutanix platforms. So for the first time, you'll be able to monitor VMs that run on other platforms and leverage our machine learning algorithms. Of course, simplicity doesn't stop with just monitoring. Our Insights product, which just went GA, uses the power of the cloud to perform predictive cloud health analytics and to provide optimization and security recommendations. For our customers who use Insights, you've seen that they reduce their support cases by about a third. And when Insights does recommend an upgrade, we can do all of that through LCM, which can now manage our entire stack, starting from the firmware, to the hypervisor, to AOS and Prism. With built-in dependency management and with patched updates, upgrades become even faster and worry-free. That's great, Rajiv. It seems to me like not only did we pioneer LCM, but we continue to innovate it in a way that our customers have the best one-click upgrade experience in the industry. Now, I want to talk about another topic which is very important to our customers, which is performance. Obviously, performance of the infrastructure matters when running business critical applications. And that's been a big focus for Nutanix for many years. But I do know that you have something big cooking there. Can you tell us about it? Right, Monica. So for the past couple of years, we've had our senior most engineers work on a complete re-architecture of a AOS. Last year, we launched our autonomous extent store. And we extended that recently with our block store technology. Block store lets us use Intel's SPDK. And between the combination of technologies, we can bump up performance by 50% on some of the most challenging scenarios. This lets us take on really complex applications like Epic and SAP HANA, but also sets us up well for, for upcoming hardware technologies like Coptane. It's best to see this in action. For that, please welcome Steve Poitras, Chief Architect for Nutanix. Given we're local to media, one way we can increase performance is by increasing CPU efficiency. One way we can achieve this is by moving things out of the kernel up into user space. Yes, you heard me correctly. We can increase performance by moving things out of the kernel up into user space. With Nutanix Block Store, we have moved the device's file system to be purely done in user space. For newer generation medias like NVMe and Intel Optane, we've integrated with Intel's SPDK project allowing us to interface and drive I.O. to these devices purely in user space. These two coupled together allow us to drive much higher performance and much lower latency. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So here we have our source Nutanix cluster, our next cluster V1. On this cluster, this does not have block store SPDK or Intel Optane devices. On this cluster, we're running a group of virtual machines simulating an X-ray workload. So here we can see our Curie test virtual machines running on our Samurai hosts. Now, if we take a look at our X-ray workload, we can see that this is currently in progress. This is a Postgres simulation workload, which is simulating both Postgres databases, as well as clients performing transactions on those databases. Now, if we look at the current performance characteristics of this test, we can see that this workload is generating right around 110,000 transactions per second at a latency of 0 0.61, 0 0.2 milliseconds. Not too bad, but we can definitely do better. So now what we'll do is we'll actually live migrate these VMs over to a next generation cluster. So if we take a look at our virtual machines, we have our test VMs that we have previously shown. If we go to the data protection screen, we can see that these are currently in a synced state meaning that AHV's synchronous replication is syncing data between our source and target cluster. This is the basis of cross-cluster line migration, which we're going to perform here. So we select our virtual machines and bring up the migration context. 
Now, in this scenario, we're going to migrate this to a different cluster, one with block store and SPDK. So we select our network mapping and click Live Migrate. And then we'll go ahead and click on Migrate here. Now, what this will do is it'll actually migrate all these VMs over from our source to our target cluster in a live, non-disruptive manner. So here we have our next cluster, V2. This cluster is up and running with block store, SPDK, as well as Intel Optane devices. If we look at our virtual machine list, we can see all of our test virtual machines are here, but they're now running on our Mauricio host, essentially our next generation host. Going back to our X-ray test, we can see that our test is now completed. With the power of editing, this has gone through the full process. Now, if we look at our performance charts, we can see the performance characteristics before the migration, during the cutover, as well as after the migration. So if we take a look at our previous results, we can see we are right around 114,000 transactions. Post-migration, we're right around 214, 215,000, so nearly double. And our latency dropped from 0.62 milliseconds to right around 0.31, 0.32. So essentially our latency cut in half. As we've shown, by combining the power of Nutanix block store, SPDK, and newer generation medias like Intel's Optane, we've drastically improved performance and reduced latency, allowing these workloads to take full advantage of the power these new generation medias provide. But like my good friend once said, there's always one more thing. We're paranoid about how we can make things better. One of the ways that we're working to do this that's currently in development is a fast path for communication between AHV and our storage stack. We can do this leveraging iSCSI over RDMA, otherwise known as ICER. Now, one of the key things with this is this eliminates and eradicates any context switching or system calls. This allows AHV to our storage stack, to the actual media, to be 100% driven in user space. This allows us to drive performance much higher, reduce overhead, and decrease latency significantly. So stay tuned for many more exciting things to come. And up next, a video from our partner, Intel. Thank you. I'm Jason Greed. I run the Cloud and Enterprise Solutions Group at Intel. Intel has been part of the Nutanix journey from the very beginning. And now we're collaborating very closely to drive the next generation of cloud innovation together. Today, we're super excited to announce the Intel Optane technology now available on Nutanix HCI, advancing the capabilities and workloads that Nutanix customers are asking for, running on any type of cloud, public, private, or hybrid. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the .next conference. Well, let's talk about storage now. Obviously, that's a big part of our data center services portfolio. And when we talk to customers, one of the big pain points is how do you unify different types of storage for unstructured and structured data? So Rajiv, I'd love for you to talk about how Nutanix is making it easier for our customers to use and manage different types of storage solutions. Absolutely, Monica. Applications today want to use storage in flexible ways beyond just simple block storage. So our files and object solutions continue to evolve to meet these needs. For one, we are building increasingly for a hybrid world. Both products can be deployed anywhere from the data center to the edge to the public cloud. We have added support for continuous replication so that your data is instantly available almost anywhere. And at the same time, we are also adding support for tiering across locations so that we can move cold data to the public cloud for long-term archival. One of the other troublesome areas for IT today is ransomware. Even if you haven't been affected yet, it is an area that you should have a strategy for, and data services is, of course, a critical part of that strategy. We've added support for detecting known ransomware, but also, more importantly, for recovering quickly from ransomware attacks through capabilities such as Worm and immutable snapshots. 
Right, right, right. So the technology sounds amazing, Rajiv. I guess what I want to tie this to are the use cases, right? How are we helping customers run better within the right scenarios and use cases? Can you give us some examples? Absolutely. So healthcare, for example, is an important vertical for us. And Files has recently been certified for PAX solutions by vendors such as Change Healthcare and IBM Watson Digital. So now you can run your PAX VMs and your Filer VMs on the same infrastructure, so no more storage silos. As another example, a partner of ours, One Convergence, has been working with a large pharmaceutical company to build a data pipeline, a machine learning pipeline. Pharmaceutical researchers can uh, feed the data into the pipeline, run their models, and quickly narrow down on an effective drug regimen. The entire solution is built around uh, carbon and objects, so it provides for scalable cloud-native compute and storage. And as an added benefit, the researchers can run this either on-premises or, if needed, burst to public cloud. One of the early adopters of uh, files was Shepard Mullet, a global 100 law firm. Let's take a look at how they have been using files to simplify their document management. When we first started our POC with Nutanix, it was in 2015. We saw the end result. We were like, okay, where do we sign the contract? And so in 2016, we signed the contract. And right away, once we heard Nutanix Files was starting, we asked if we can be one of their early adopters, and we had fantastic results. The Nutanix platform has so many features. One of the main features is Nutanix Files. As you know, attorneys are working on documents all day long. They needed a solution that provided them 100% uptime, and Nutanix Files provides that for the IT department. In turn, we provide that to the attorney. Before we started using Nutanix files. We were actually using the three-tier legacy architecture. During that time, since we are a law firm or InfoSec department, always required us to do a lot of patching. After a certain point, we started seeing outages with our old legacy three-tier architecture. And now with the Nutanix files, what it brings to the tables, we actually have 100% uptime and the attorneys can work on their documents and it's seamless to them as we're doing upgrades behind the scenes. Within Nutanix files, we have various types of documents. We have Word, Excel, PDFs, which are like the common contracts for attorneys that work on for our document management system. For us, it's tier one. It's very highly critical. Why I'm so excited about Nutanix files is because the attorneys work on documents all day long, Monday through Sunday, right? No one's perfect. People make mistakes. Within the Nutanix platform, we do backups hourly. The nice feature about Nutanix files is that we basically give the technology back to the business and attorneys can actually restore their files like randomly, quickly, fast. So they don't need to call into IT. They can do it themselves. Another critical element of enterprise IT is disaster recovery and business continuity. Given recent conditions, DR is more top of mind than ever. We've always had a rich set of DR capabilities and have recently expanded on them with 20-second RPOs with our near sync technology, file-level synchronization with our files product. And one of our upcoming capabilities is to do instant restore, which will let you power on VMs on any Nutanix cluster without waiting for data to be restored. In addition to on-premises DR, we also launched Zyleap, our disaster recovery as a cloud service a couple of years ago. To tell us more about that, please welcome Sridhar Devrapalli, VP and GM for networking and cloud services. Thank you, Rajiv. Xyleap builds on all the benefits of automated orchestration and continuous replication and offers these capabilities as a fully managed cloud service. It eliminates all the traditional complexity associated with on-prem to on-prem DR and offers true cloud service benefits that include guaranteed SLAs and pay-as-you-go economics. A couple of key highlights of the service include support for ESX and AHV on the source and the ability to preserve IP addresses when applications fail over. I'd like to call your attention to a few new capabilities that we've introduced as part of the service. Firstly, multi-site Rubo allows customers who have multiple branch locations to connect all these branch locations seamlessly to a single VPN service that is associated with their VPC in their Xyleap account. Xyleap now supports five-minute RPO, which is a significant improvement on data protection levels. We have new regions in Japan and Germany. Finally, we continue to innovate on the economic model as well. A recent new feature that's being developed is the ability to pay quarterly installments using purchase orders for multi-year contracts. 
The intent here is to offer customers the flexibility to essentially uh, pay in schedules while taking deeper discount levels benefits for their multi-year contracts. Let's take a look at a testimonial from Treat, which is a food ingredient manufacturer who's using Xyleap, and let's see what they have to say about the service. We uh, migrated off of VMware and went over to Nutanix AAD. Looking again at the uh, solutions, it just became very obvious that the Zion Leap was the way to go, simply because it plugs directly right into Prism Central, had to manage it, everything through, through a single pane of glass, and it's simple. One crucial topic that is related to any conversation around Xyleap, or for that matter, any hybrid cloud deployment is networking. I mentioned earlier some of our key capabilities for Xyleap that include preservation of IP addresses and one-click VPN. Now you might question, these are fairly generally complex capabilities. How did we accomplish them? The answer is there's a core underlying software-defined technology that we call virtual private cloud that we build from grounds up in Zycloud. Virtual Private Cloud provides multi-tenant networking and a range of networking capabilities that include VPN, source NAT, destination NAT, routing, and so forth. And it provides networking as a self-service set of capabilities that is an integral part of the cloud service. Today, Nutanix VPCs support hundreds of active customers who are actively using the Zyleap service, and it's been battle-tested for scalability and performance. Now, if you go back to the core concept of hybrid cloud, it is about unifying experience for customers to achieve consistency between different clouds. Staying true to this philosophy, we're bringing this construct of VPCs that we built in Zycloud to our on-prem customers. Overlay networking has been a recurring ask from our customers, and we've taken that concept one step further, and we're bringing all the benefits of overlay networking through this construct of VPCs to our on-prem customers without the associated complexity of management. You can manage VPCs and associated functions from Prism without any additional components, gateways, appliances, or agents. Your development and application teams can automate network lifecycle along with application lifecycle without making any changes to any aspect of the physical network. The result is a single operating model for networking that spans across both public and private clouds. This unified operating model brings about significant benefits. Firstly, you do not need to learn any new skills for operating networking across different clouds. Secondly, connecting between different clouds becomes almost like a single click experience. And finally, networks can fail over along with the applications and you unlock true app mobility. Seeing is believing. Let's switch to a live demo and see the product in action. So we'll start by enabling advanced networking. This is a simple workflow since the networking controller is fully integrated with Prism. We simply indicate which cluster we want to host the networking controller, choose a subnet, provide a couple of IPs, and that's it. This will deploy a highly available network controller running inside VMs on the target cluster. It takes a little while to set up, so we're gonna skip this part. Overlay networking is great for self-service. Each user can create their own isolated network environment or VPC. Within the VPC, you have complete control over IP address management and routing policies. In this part of the demo, we're going to create a VPC and deploy a simple two-tier application, a WordPress blog, and a SQL database. 
We're going to need external connectivity in order to reach our web server, so we're connecting our VPC to an external subnet. This is simply a physical VLAN subnet that we've requested from our networking administrator. A NAT gateway is responsible for passing traffic between the VPC and the external network. This functionality is fully integrated with AHV and highly available by default. There's no need to configure a separate edge appliance and maintain it. I went ahead and deployed our application's VMs into the VPC. At this point, they can talk to each other, they can reach the internet, but we can't communicate with them from the outside. In order to expose the web server on the external subnet, we need to configure a floating IP. For this demo, I've already allocated the floating IP, so it's just a matter of setting up the association. With that done, we can simply copy-paste the floating IP into our browser's address bar, and off we go. Finally, we'd like to show you how we're simplifying hybrid connectivity with the cloud. It's now possible to deploy a VPN gateway and connect it to a remote endpoint with just a couple of clicks and you never have to leave Prism. For this demo, we already have a few remote VPN gateways configured, but we're going to need to configure a local one. We'll deploy it on our VPC, configure eBGP for dynamic routing. By clicking Save, we're deploying and configuring a small VPN appliance VM, which is integrated with the advanced networking stack. It takes a few minutes, so we're going to skip this part too. Next, we're going to connect our local VPN gateway to the Xi VPN gateway. It's a little bit of data entry here, but this is far simpler than configuring a traditional VPN appliance. Plus, it's entirely self-service. We did it all from Prism. We didn't need to wait weeks for our networking team to deploy and configure and troubleshoot a physical appliance. So that's it. In three minutes, I've shown you everything you need to know to get started with VPCs. If you'd like to learn more, please attend the Advanced Networking Breakout session. Thank you. In this last section, you heard all the cool innovations Nutanix is bringing to market and to you around how to help you run your IT better. So you heard about innovations in our core AOS, virtualization, we talked about infrastructure management, we talked about unifying storage, and we talked about DR and backup. So that was a lot to help you run better. Now, what about helping you developing and deploying your applications faster? So to do that, I'm going to invite back Rajiv Mirani, and he's going to take you through how we can help you run faster. That's a really great transition into what we wanted to cover next. If you're in operations or DevOps, you have a number of things for you to be more agile and more efficient. Let's hear from Aditya Sood, VP and GM for Calm. So Aditya, in application lifecycle management, we're hearing from more and more customers that they want tools that can help them automate across multiple clouds. Tell us how Calm can help with that. Uh, that's exactly right, Rajiv. When we go talk to our customers, uh, one of the first things we see is that IT is inundated with requests. And these requests range everywhere from getting application services to infrastructure services to cloud services. And the goal for IT is not just to satisfy this request and just keep up with them but also to deliver this functionality within minutes and not days and weeks to give a truly private cloud-like experience to their customers. And this is where we see the biggest wins for our customers. We have also extended the same functionality now and are delivering it as through Calm SaaS. We are very excited to announce that. It gives you the same integrations, the same agility, the same automation experience, but now delivered through a browser window. To that end, to see how our customers are winning big with both Calm and uh, other automation techniques is let's go look at a video from our customer Wawa Bank on how they're using Calm and Carbon to transform their infrastructure and applications. Wawa Bank is a very niche bank in Kuwait, established in 2010. We're going faster into digitizing services and grabbing customers to mobile applications and they make their journey much easier for them. The governance of financial services are very strict when it comes to customer data protection, security levels, implementation. 
it was started in a software defined storage now it end up in a full IT automation and life cycle management and now things has moved tremendously from that specific layer up to what we have been doing right now in Warba Bank is digitizing our online banking services through the Nutanix platform Nutanix played a very critical role in the mobile banking application the core services of the mobile banking services is running on top of Nutanix we have been utilizing calm for automation and provisioning we've been utilizing carbon for kubernetes management and docker management when you see the pipeline for the mobile banking application that's built on that kind of a platform people now taken for granted so they just want to stack features and keep things running because they have inherited the stability of the platform investment with nutanix is a strategic technology partner for robobank So Aditya, it looks like you're adding more and more tools to help our customers that have multiple public and private clouds. Uh, yes, Rajiv, uh, that's pretty accurate. And we believe the journey should not stop there. We are in the process of building a single management plane for all of Nutanix products and services as well. We want a single click experience for our customers to provision, deploy and manage Nutanix products and services across multiple data centers to do this with full role based access control and uh, other private cloud functionality. We are calling this product offering Nutanix Central, and this is a very brief glimpse of what we are showing you. There's a special dedicated breakout for Nutanix Central, and I would highly recommend that you go check it out. Thanks, Aditya. Really exciting stuff. Thank you, Rajiv. In an on-demand world, companies know they need to deliver new products, services, and customer experiences more quickly and reliably than ever. Effective software testing is essential to this process, yet setting up and maintaining fit-for-purpose environments can be slow, complex, and costly, putting companies at risk. To meet this challenge, Nutanix and Capgemini are introducing Smart Foundry, an end-to-end -end quality engineering ecosystem that delivers faster time to market, cost efficiency, and continuous quality. Smart Foundry helps organizations turn ideas into real-world solutions at speed and at scale. Smart Foundry simplifies the delivery of software changes and provides higher utilization rates with better visibility and cadence. Nutanix supports this with invisible infrastructure and application lifecycle automation, which runs on your cloud of choice. Together, Nutanix and Capgemini offer customers a powerful, domain-centric, cloud agnostic and secure platform for efficient, scalable testing. Yesterday we heard about Nutanix clusters on Azure and how Arc can be used to manage Kubernetes applications, both on premises and on Azure. At Nutanix, we've always believed in freedom of choice. And if you want to use Arc, that's great but we also have our own native solution for managing Kubernetes. We introduced Carbon last year as a tool for IT to manage Kubernetes lifecycle, but if you look at it from a developer point of view, very few applications are fully self-contained. They usually rely on platform services, such as database services or an object store. So I'm pleased to announce a new addition to the Carbon family, Carbon Platform Services. Carbon Platform Services is a multi-cloud PaaS that can run in the cloud of your choice. AOS clusters, VMware clusters, Azure, GCP, AWS. It's fully managed by Nutanix, and you're gonna launch the rich set of services, including functions as a service, containers as a service, network services, data services, and monitoring services. But who better to talk about this than someone who's actually used it for a few months in early access? Please welcome Damien Pasconelli, CTO of the Hardisk Group. Thanks, Rajiv, for the opportunity to share with you our experience with uh, Nutanix Carbon Services Platform. Artis Group is a supply chain IT leader uh, with several projects focused on the logistic flow. Our flagship Reflex uh, WMS is deployed on over 20 countries for 20,000 users currently. So an agile method, an agile development and deployment strategy is critical for 
the digital transformation of our customer, and for our transformation to have a full software as a service model. We worked with uh, Nutanix uh, on different projects. We worked on Reflex to have a first version on a carbon services platform. And we worked for Vision Insight, an application created uh, for the warehouse to cover the blind spot in the warehouse with a vision. So we use visual recognition to analyze uh, the flow and to analyze the activity in the warehouse. So with the uh, carbon services platform, we use managed services for our Kubernetes and for the data pipeline. So to be successful in our strategy, we must respect three key success factors. Um, have a rapid development and deployment ability for cloud native apps to promote innovation, to create new products, and to have the good scalability for our performance. We need to have an easy application lifecycle and an operation management very efficient to manage the cost of our product and to go to the market with a good pricing and with a good strategy. And the last point, the last success factor is we need to be able to integrate and manage a multi-source database because for the supply chain with Reflex, with uh, Bayesian Insight, we manage a huge volume of data and we will get this data in different sources on the edge computing, on the cloud, and maybe on the enterprise server. So the carbon services platform is a good way we think that to have this agility, this freedom to choose where we want to deploy our application. Thanks, Damien. That's great. Yeah. And to see this in action, please welcome Christoph, who shows how easy it is to deploy an application on this platform. Hello, I'm Christophe Geoffrey, DevOps Architect. Today, I will show you Carbon Services, our new managed platform as a service offer that will allow you to accelerate the life cycle of your modern multi-cloud application by providing ready-to-use services such as Kubernetes, Traffic, Istio, Kafka, or Prometheus. For this demo, we built an eShop microservices application called Woodcraft. Its development has been accelerated by the use of native services of the platform and easy to deploy public extensions. To deploy it, I will go to the Carbon Services user interface. First step is to create a new project. This is done in a few clicks by specifying in particular one or multiple clouds, private or public. Next, I will specify all the services needed for my application. The next step is to create my first application inside my project, which will include all the resources required for my eShop to work correctly and will be deployed on the platform defined previously in my project. To achieve this, I'm just going to use a standard Elm chart provided by my developer. It's really like a kitchen recipe to deploy my app anywhere. Once this application deployed, I will see that all the services have been correctly configured. Security, message bus, access route will let me connect to my application directly. Now I can see my eShop is perfectly published and functional. In the same way, I can deploy an additional chart to configure all my monitoring elements. I will then find an additional route that will allow me to connect to my dashboard that present the metrics corresponding to my application. To end this demo, I will update the recommendation component of my application with another chart. I will use a feature of the Carbon Services platform to intercept traffic to this component and redirect it to different versions according to certain criteria. For the demonstration, I will send all the packages coming from Firefox to the version 2 and the rest to version 1. If I check in the interface, I can see my virtual service pointing for the moment to the version 1. I'm going to use Firefox to connect to the same application and validate that my recommendation is in version 2. And if I go back to the interface, I see that I have no split that is made between my two versions with traffic that will be distributed between both. We can see with this demo how easily you can deploy modern applications. 
Now, it's your turn. Import your own clusters or start a free trial of Nutanix Carbon Services. Thank you. That was some amazing information you shared, Rajiv, with the audience. I guess my question would be, how can one try all of this functionality out? We have a few options, uh, Monica. You can sign up for a trial at carbon.nutanix.com, uh, do a test drive, or just send us email and we'll sign you up for a workshop. Great. Thank you. I hope you all will use one of these options and try out all the cool innovations Nutanix is bringing to market to help you run better and faster. With that, Rajiv, I really want to thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Monica. So that was great with Rajiv talking about running better and faster. So the next segment is all about running anywhere, as we said before. It's about freedom of choice. It's about flexibility, agility. It's about helping you, our customers, being able to use hybrid and multi-cloud solutions for running your businesses on. So to do that, I'm going to invite two of my colleagues and leaders at Nutanix, Tarkin Maynard, our Chief Commercial Officer, and Manoj Agarwal, our SVP of Engineering and GM for Hybrid Cloud. Welcome, Tarkin and Manoj. Hi, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Glad to be here. Tarkin, I'm going to start with you first. You know, we've been talking about the one platform for any application and now any cloud. I'd love to get your perspective on what that means for our customers. So, uh, Monica, um, as you uh, uh, highlighted uh, uh, the section, and as you mentioned, uh, a, a great session earlier around run better and run faster. Now, uh, in my view, one of the most exciting segments of our day, run anywhere. We have a completely open strategy where we're bringing our four main, so to speak, categories of our products together around digital infrastructure in the bottom as a foundation. On top of it, solutions from the data center to DevOps and to desktops. So that entire portfolio, the entire taxonomy brings all the value to our customers. As you mentioned, as we covered today, the run better pieces, and then also run faster pieces around our digital infrastructure, data center solutions, and DevOps solutions. And, and we also look into our portfolio as a whole to deliver our solutions on any cloud platform, not only on-prem, but also on off-prem solution areas. So uh, Manoj and I, we're gonna kind of deliver this message today to our customers and partners, how we're delivering that multi-cloud approach for our customers to give them the freedom of choice. So we have, as many of you know, our own on-prem solution with 17,000 plus customers we deliver today in our private cloud, which Manoj is gonna go drill down further. But on top of that, we have tight partnerships with our telco and XSP partners to deliver solutions to our customers through these XSP solutions and XSP services that Manoj is gonna to touch base on. And beyond that, as most of you know, over the past 12 to 18 months, we delivered our own cloud services at Nutanix under the Zy brand, Nutanix Cloud. We started first solution around disaster recovery as a service, which we talked about earlier today with Rajiv and you, Monica. And obviously, this overall service is all about our own billing, payments, logistics, and service capabilities for our customers to have choice. And on top of that, obviously, Manoj is gonna drill down on some of the exciting news we talked about yesterday, a little bit today, earlier, but also about a month ago, with some of the key partnerships we announced with AWS, as well as with Azure. And some of the other work we're doing also with some of the other hyperscalers, with Google and as we move forward in the next 12 months with other, some of the other hyperscalers around the world. So on that note, one key differentiation we have, obviously doing all of this stuff with no change to applications, with no change to IT operations in a seamless way, and obviously giving freedom of choice to our customers to make sure cloud is not necessarily a destination, it's an operating model for them. It's a means to an end to be more agile, to cut costs, and to focus on what's most important for them. From private cloud, 
to our Telco XSP partnerships, to our Nutanix cloud delivery model, as well as our hyperscaler partnerships, as we announced over the past few weeks with AWS and Azure, and give you that full picture of our freedom of choice capabilities for you all, for our customers and partners. So on that note, maybe I'll deliver the virtual microphone to Manoj, to my dear friends. Thank you, Tarkan. I'm super excited to be here to talk about freedom of choice to run your infrastructure anywhere without requiring any change to application or IT operations. First 10 years of Nutanix journey was to bring the public cloud-like simplicity to the private cloud with complete freedom of choice to run on any hardware backed by our technology partners, Intel and AMD. Over the last 12 months, our partnership with HPE has grown several folds and our customers love HPE DX and GreenLake solution with Nutanix. Let's celebrate with this video. Nutanix and HPE came together to bring exciting new additions to our customers' private, hybrid, and multi-cloud infrastructure choices. Leading companies have entrusted the HPE ProLiant DX powered by Nutanix software with their most demanding workloads. From the world's largest enterprises, across key industries, to public agencies and mid-size organizations. Consumption choices are increasingly important for customers looking to remain agile in the evolving market. With the HPE GreenLake Managed Service that runs on DX, you can realize cloud-like simplicity with pay-as-you-go efficiency in your expenses and resources. Customer needs never stand still, and neither does the DX portfolio. That's the power of choice in consumption models, configurations, hypervisors, security, and clouds with Nutanix and HPE. Thank you, HPE, for the great partnership. Telco and service providers are extremely important for us, both for our regional customers and global customers. Now you have the freedom of choice to avail Nutanix solutions from many of the service um, providers' cloud. And I'm thrilled to announce our global partnership with OVH Cloud with a fully managed Nutanix solution. Let's hear from CTO and EVP for OVH Cloud, Alan Fiaco. My name is Alain Fioco. I am the CTO of OVH Cloud. Recently, Forrester has recognized OVH Cloud as the European leader in the hosted private cloud segment. A lot of enterprise customers come to OVH for a variety of reasons. The best price performance ratio of the industry, our global presence, our scale, the security and data privacy, but also the transparency and the affordability of the whole encompassing pricing model. However, a number of these customers have asked us to enable more choice, more options when it comes to the software stack that they want to use. Nutanix has clearly gained a lot of momentum within that segment. And so I'm very excited to reveal something that we've been cooking for a while. Starting this fall, you will be able to rent from OVH Cloud, available globally, fully managed, high-performance, hyper-converged clusters with Nutanix software running on them. And I hope you will be among the first to enjoy that killer combination of Nutanix on OVH Cloud designed for the most demanding use cases. We are very happy to be among the first to embrace the Nutanix Service Provider Partner Program on our mission to deliver the best in class managed infrastructure for the next generation hosted private cloud. Stay safe, enjoy the next, bye bye. Wow, that was very really powerful. Thank you, Alan, and thank you, OVH Cloud, for the partnership. Moving on to the third substrate, Nutanix Cloud. It is a fully managed and serviced by Nutanix and backed by industry-leading Nutanix support. It is now available in six different regions around the globe, US East, US West, UK, Germany, Italy, and Japan. Jaili is disaster recovery as a service solution available on Nutanix Cloud. It provides SLA guarantee guarantees for RPO and RTO. 
you have the freedom of choice to use AHB or VMware ESXi as your primary virtual environment with one-click simplicity to failover, failback, and test. With one-click test, customers are able to validate their recovery plan before the disaster happens. This is the most used feature in the enterprise to test the DR. Now we are simplifying it further, changing one click to zero click for test failover. This is big win for the customers. You can now schedule the test and forget, and let the system run it on a periodic basis and email you the result. With multi-VPN capability, you can now protect all of your robo sites in Nutanix Cloud. Security and privacy is another extremely important area for us and our customers. After ISO 27001, 17, 18, SOC 2 Type 1, GDPR, I'm happy to announce that we have also achieved ISO 27701 certification for Nutanix Cloud. We couldn't be happier with the growth of Nutanix Cloud in the last 12 months. With 4x customer growth, 10x growth in number of VMs protected, and our customers love it when they use it, and that shows with 100% service renewals. Thank you. Our customers are also finding interesting use cases to run their workload on Nutanix Cloud. One of the top insurance companies in the world is running thousands of Citrix desktops across many regions around the globe. Thank you for trusting us with your workloads on Nutanix Cloud. Manoj, thank you so much for sharing this fantastic information. So if I were to sum it up, you know, obviously private cloud has been Nutanix's sweet spot for many years. Like we've run the biggest and the most mission critical workloads for our customers and we still do in data centers. And now we've taken that technology solution and based on what you just shared with us, we are making that available through our regional and global service provider partners, right? So we are now helping our customers make sure that data residency, data governance requirements are met if they're in certain regions and they need to comply with those regulations. And then you're saying we also have Nutanix Cloud where we're helping a number of customers migrate their data centers who don't want to be in the business of running data centers. So all that sounds fantastic. I know there's one more piece to this puzzle. As Tarkin had alluded to earlier, it's all of our work in partnership with the hyperscalers. So what I'd love to do is to have you talk more about that and share all the new innovations we are bringing to market to help our customers literally run anywhere, including hyperscaler environments. Yeah, Monica, that's a big one, by the way. Bringing all of Nutanix product and services on the hyperscaler cloud. I'm particularly super excited to talk about starting out with uh, AWS and then in few months time that you will see the solution become available on Microsoft Azure. This is truly game-changing technology because when you use this, you have the same management plane, same tools, same operations, and same policies across the clouds. In true sense, for the first time, this makes cloud to be application ready as opposed to the other way around. Nutanix Plus Plus on AWS is generally available for the last one month and available in 20 regions across the globe. You can use your own AWS accounts and credits, and we allow license portability from on-prem to public cloud and back, thereby giving you complete freedom of choice to run your application anywhere and on your own terms. For short-term and medium-term elastic capacity needs, we also provide a flexible pay-as-you-go and commit plans. And to talk more about Nutanix clusters with a demo, I invite Vidhi Taneja, our awesome product manager. Thank you, Vidhi. Take it from here. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I would love to talk to you about five unique capabilities Nutanix clusters has to offer. Nutanix Clusters brings the agility and elasticity of the cloud to your data centers. Within minutes, you can extend your on-premise infrastructure by provisioning additional capacity using our Global Clusters portal. Once I log into the portal, I configure my AWS account and select the regions to create clusters in. It just takes a minute, and now I'm ready to create clusters. This is where the simplicity of our solution really kicks in. To create a cluster, I provide a name, Select the account, region, 
specific VPC which has been automatically discovered for me, or I can create a new one. I pick the cluster configuration, the software version, and choose to bring the cluster up securely by specifying IP addresses to access the cluster. I review my setup and click Create. And that's it. Within 30 minutes or less, my cluster will be up and running in the region of my choice without a need to build out a data center. It is that simple to get started. Nutanix Clusters provides you the fastest on-ramp to cloud, minimizing the risk and saving costs and time. Once you have connectivity between your on-premises and AWS environment via VPN or Direct Connect, you can move your applications without any refactoring while keeping your existing integrations and toolings intact. Now I have this simple task manager application on-premises. To move this to AWS, I will use Leap, which is our DR orchestration solution. Here I have configured a recovery plan to specify how the app needs to be brought up post-migration and the scripts that need to be executed. And then the network mappings as well. Now I will execute the runbook, specify source as my on-prem cluster and destination as my AWS cluster. Post failover, I can simply bring the application up. And once I have my application in cloud, with our native networking integration, it gets low latency access to all AWS services. With Nutanix clusters, we've truly embraced the power of cloud. The cluster automatically adds or removes instances on demand, so you can always run at optimal capacity. You can leverage Prism Pro's X-ray feature to expand or shrink a cluster based on pre-configured triggers. Let me show you how. So I have this four nodes cluster. In Prism Central, I have created an auto-expand playbook for this cluster with the trigger to add bare metal instances when the cluster is low on memory. Next, I'll go to my VMs page, turn on these memory intensive VMs, increasing the memory utilization of the cluster. This will raise a low on memory alert, triggering the cluster to automatically add a node. I see here that the policy ran successfully, and now my cluster's capacity has automatically increased from four to five nodes. When in cloud, it is extremely important to keep a check on the cloud resources consumed. And for that, we have deeply integrated clusters with our Beam solution. Within my cloud cluster, I can launch Beam to look at overall cloud spend or delve deeper to view finer grain details around cost per service and region. More importantly, I can receive recommendations on how to be more efficient, like switching from one instance type to another to optimize resource utilization and saving costs. Next, I would like to show you our pioneering feature that we call as Hibernate and Resume. Hibernate preserves the data and metadata of your cluster into S3, releasing bare metal instances and saving costs. With Resume, you can restore the cluster back to its prior state with all VMs and data preserved. To hibernate a cluster, I simply click on Hibernate button, confirm my intent, and that's it. When I'm ready to resume it back, I click on Resume, and Nutanix cluster software will automatically procure healthy bare metal nodes from AWS based on the prior node configuration, install Nutanix software, and rehydrate all the data and metadata back from S3 bucket. If I like, I can also schedule Hibernate and Resume with Xplay. Nutanix clusters gives you the control and delivers your software in your cloud account on your terms. It is truly designed and engineered for the multi-cloud era, and we would invite you to try it out for yourself. Thank you, and stay safe.
Wow, that was a fantastic demo, Vidhi. And thank you, Manoj, for sharing all the information about Nutanix clusters. I mean, it seems incredible. It's the hybrid cloud infrastructure that offers the customers a unified management framework, an easy way to uh, move applications, data, and licenses across clouds, and of course, a way to figure out what's the right cloud for the right workload. So really th grateful that you shared the information. Now, the next question is, so what are the key use cases that one can use clusters for? And I wanna highlight four key use cases. You know, obviously there's more than that, but the four, the most popular ones are lifting and shifting certain types of applications to a public cloud, or, you know, keeping parts of the application on premises, but parts of it in a public cloud. So it includes application migration, but the key point is, you know, customers don't want any code changes while doing so. The second big one is uh, on-demand expansion or what we call bursting into cloud. And obviously that's become a big use case with uh, remote work. We've seen a lot of organizations needing capacity that can burst into cloud and they can scale that way. Um, the third one is business continuity or DR, you know, being able to fail over with a single click onto cloud, you know, if things go wrong. And last but not least, a really popular use case is, you know, cloud native integration. So the ability to not only build apps from scratch in public cloud and possibly run them on premises, but even extending existing applications by using cloud native services. So those are the key use cases. Now one would say, so what about the workloads and apps? And obviously there's a variety of them from databases to, you know, analytics to cloud native apps, as I said, and user computing. So my first guest is our expert in end-user computing solutions. He's a VP and GM of end-user computing at Nutanix. And I'd love for him to talk about how we are enabling Citrix VDI workloads and desktop as a service in a hybrid and multi-cloud mode for our customers. Welcome, Nicola. Thanks, Monica. Um, at Nutanix, we are VDI experts, and that really has been um, our foundational workload for the last 10 years. And if there was ever a year of VDI, it's 2020 with all this remote work. Um, Nutanix works great for uh, any VDI, but especially Citrix. And we've had a wonderful relationship uh, with Citrix over the years. Uh, you heard yesterday how we're working together to redefine the future of uh, healthcare. And um, customers love Citrix on Nutanix for access to desktops and apps and data from their Nutanix clusters on-prem. Now, they can do the same thing from Nutanix clusters on AWS or Azure. And you may ask why using uh, clusters in the cloud? Well, it's great for bursting of VDI workloads when you need to support additional remote workers and it's exactly what the Australian Bureau of Statistics um, has done for uh, their upcoming census next year. Uh, DR, disaster recovery, is another great use case. And absolutely the best thing about it is that uh, Citrix looks the same and the experience is identical to what customers would see when they are running uh, Nutanix on-prem on HV. Uh, and now they can get that exact thing on um, AWS or Azure. Speaking more generally, this year has seen some extraordinary challenges. Um, and this spring with pandemics uh, slowing down everything to a halt, a government agency in one of the largest countries in Europe uh, really needed to support um, remote work. And they turned to the system integrator and telecom giant Telefonica and they teamed with Lenovo, Nutanix, and Citrix to accelerate the project and to deliver um, a great experience to 5,000 remote workers. Let's listen to Lenovo's story. Together, Lenovo and Nutanix offer customers a complete portfolio to cover any IT need, from desktop to data center. Organizations around the world have already discovered the performance, cost effectiveness, and agility of end-user computing solutions running on Lenovo and Nutanix. What are these solutions? Lenovo offers everything from end-user devices to IT infrastructure. What can these solutions do? 
Recently, a national government agency in Europe was just one of many organizations faced with emergency deployment of IT solutions in the global pandemic. They turned to the system integrator and telecom giant Telefonica and teamed with Lenovo, Nutanix, and Citrix to accelerate the project and gather requirements for 5,000 remote workers. The overall joint solution that included AHV, Prism Pro, Nutanix files for user data, and flow for additional security was tested and deployed by the team within days, resulting in a rapid rollout to the agency's workers and their ability to maintain services for the country's constituents while ensuring business continuity and protecting their employees. From desktop to data center, Lenovo and Nutanix have you covered. Great story. Um, we've been talking about cloud a lot uh, today and yesterday. And the best thing about uh, cloud is flexibility and uh, the opportunity to run uh, different solutions at different times. We are very proud of Frame, um, our own desktop as a service solution because it provides um, amazing flexibility to customers to quickly deploy um, virtual desktops, uh, basically running on uh, either cloud or uh, on a, a private cloud and on-prem. Uh, Frame is a desktop as a service that is managed and operated by Nutanix and that lets customers deploy desktops very quickly. Uh, our cloud story started many years ago with um, AWS and expanded to Azure. And if you remember last year at .next, uh, we landed Frame on Nutanix clouds uh, running on AHV. The best thing is that wherever you run your desktops and VMs, the service is using the same pane of glass so the user experience is consistent and great across all infrastructure. Now, last fall, we launched support for the final remaining major cloud provider, Google Cloud. And uh, honestly, I couldn't be more excited with how that's going. Uh, the merge of two great technologies deliver great performance, uh, even when we are looking at uh, very demanding workloads with GPUs and um, a big demand on storage. And uh, that's where really Google Network shines and all the effort that they put into um, uh, putting that great network in place in their data centers. Um, over the last 12 months, our partnership uh, grew a lot. Uh, it's very strong uh, right now. And there's a great synergy across a number of verticals ranging from manufacturing to retail and um, especially education with Google strengths um, in education with Chromebooks. Uh, overall, we are so excited about what's in the store for the next uh, couple of years with Nutanix and Google. And this is what Google has to say about how we've been working together. Hey there, my name is Carrie Brady. I am head of technology partnerships at Google Cloud. We are seeing a big surge in demand around customers that want to support their work from home use cases. Um, we've worked with the team at Nutanix Frame for a number of years now and are really excited to announce an increase in our partnership. Google specifically is taking a partner-first approach to this strategy, so we're partnering with best-of-breed companies in this space, specifically with Nutanix Frame. Um, we're excited to be working with the team and look forward to uh, growing our businesses and value for customers over the next couple of years. Thank you, Nicola. Those were some amazing insights about our EUC solution and specifically our partnership with Google Cloud. That sounds fantastic for our customers. So now what I want to do is to pivot to our next uh, big solution that we talked about earlier, which is databases and choosing the right platform to run your database solution, because that's what we know our customers need to mine the value of data. To do that, what I want to do is to invite our resident expert uh, our SVP and GM of Database and Business Critical Applications Division at Nutanix, Bala Kuchibotla. And Bala is going to talk to us about Database as a Service and the new innovations we are making in that space. Welcome, Bala. Thank you, Manika. As you know, uh, we shipped ERA 1.0 about one and a half year back, and we did provisioning, proliferation management, protection, and uh, patching management, all packed in one single service called Nutanix ERA. 
Thank you to all the customers who embraced it wholeheartedly, this Young Sapling product. There's a lot of love and affection to our Young product. Let's take a look at customer testimonial before we go down what's new with ERA. That's awesome. Thank you, Shanky and team, for your trust and confidence on us. And I hope to look forward to a great partnership with you guys. Now, let's cover what's new with uh, our upcoming release, right? So we all know that today, ERA is a single cluster solution. What this means is the customers have to deploy ERA on every cluster that they manage. We know that this is not going to last longer. And we have been working hard to eliminate this constraint. I am super excited to inform you guys that with our upcoming release, we are going to be a multi-cluster solution. That means that customers will be able to provision databases on multiple clusters and manage with a single control plane. Not just on multiple clusters, but they can provision databases across clusters, meaning your favorite SQL servers, always on availability group SQL servers, or Postgres can run across Nutanix clusters. Not just across Nutanix clusters, but across clouds. These clusters can be across clouds too. That's number one. Number two, we took our favorite feature called Time Machine. We all know that. We made it global. Yes, this is called Global Time Machine. That means that customers will be able to provision database copies across clusters, across clouds. Isn't it beautiful? Right? Now, we also took the time to extend our engine portfolio, and we are introducing a brand new engine to our existing engine portfolio, SAP HANA. Yes, you heard it right you will be able to do single click, one click sandbox environment provisioning for SAP HANA using Nutanix era. That's awesome. And finally, I'm super excited to inform that we are going to give 24 by 7, 365 days support for your Postgres engine running on Nutanix platform. Yes, we are becoming a Postgres vendor. Let me make an attempt to show some of these features in action. So let me get into my ERA dashboard and get to my database homepage. And then let me get to my sources and then kick up the provisioning workflow. When I, I choose my database engine, obviously SQL Server, I'll go for availability database. As part of this demo, we're not just creating databases, but we'll also create a Windows cluster. Let's name our cluster as production underscore MC underscore cluster multi-cloud cluster. And I will choose two Nutanix clusters. One is on an on-premise, which is called Tomahawk Prod. Another one is in the AWS uh, West region. So let's just choose these two clusters. 
and then we'll start up with our software. We'll use SQL 2019 as our software image and then compute as the launch, right? And then let's give some password for this Windows cluster. And this cluster will have three database VMs, two on Tomahawk clusters and the other one on AWS cluster. Let's get to the uh, availability group inputs. Obviously, we're going to call this as availability group as prod underscore mc underscore ag. As you can see, three database server VMs, primary and sync replica on Tomahawk cluster, and the third one is async replica on the AWS cluster. We'll make this primary database uh, async rep sync replica as my database copies to here, right? And then use async replica as read, 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 read server also in the demo. Now let's get to a, create a database. Uh, let's name this database as sales database, as sales underscore DB. And you can do pre and post processing if the need, need arises for, it, for us in this demo, but we'll skip it for now. And then we'll get to our favorite part, time machine. And we would make this time machine available on both these clusters again, right? So that in, in case of eventuality, you can fall back in time machine to recover your database. And finally, optionally, you can give some of these tags so that you can identify your assets like cost center, de department, and so on and so forth, and your APIs. So if you feel like using the APIs, you can just look at the APIs, get the API payload, or use it, or we directly go to UI and then provision the database, right? So this is all it takes to provision a highly available SQL Server database on multiple Nutanix clusters. In this case, not just Nutanix clusters, but across clouds too. While this is going to take some time, let me showcase the global time machine feature. Let me get to my database CRM database, and let me get to the data access management features of it. This is a three node cluster running on on-prem with a time machine. And the time machine data is exposed to multiple clusters. Some of these clusters are on-prem, some of these clusters are in AWS, like AWS Dev Cluster and QA Cluster and so on and so forth. So for this demo, let me create a database copy on the AWS QA Cluster, right? So let me get back to my time machine. As you can see, the time machine has been running for this database for quite some time. And I want to show you what, it, what it, the time machine availability will look like on this AWS QA Cluster. As you can see, the access management policy was set to expose only weekend snapshots for this QA team. That means that all the Sunday database backups that are visible for this QA department. Let me pick on July 19th and then see whether we can create a clone from the July 19th copy of the snapshot. So all it takes is to go to actions and kick off a single clone process. As you can see, this feature is pretty similar to what we have been enjoying it for the last one and a half year. Just choose the time machine or snapshot time, and then go for your choice of your compute profile, need not be your production compute profile, and just give a bunch of passwords for your database clone. That's it. And optionally, you can also run masking process as part of pre and post scripts for this database. And then go ahead, click the clone button. Here you go. You are able to kick off a clone process for the database that was running on on-prem you are able to create or you have kicked off a clone process in the AWS QA cluster. That's the power. Some of these things that what you have, what I just shown, both provisioning and clone process, generally takes days in some of these companies. Or some, some banks told me that they take a couple of weeks. But with Nutanix platform and ERA, you'll be able to achieve that in a matter of minutes. I hope you enjoyed the demo. I look forward to a lot of feedback from you guys. Thank you very much. In ever-changing and uncertain times, customers look for turnkey solutions that ensure business continuity, developer productivity, and organizational agility. Solutions that break down silos, eliminate complexity and waste. To address these needs, we have partnered with Wipro, a global leader in delivering IT, consulting, and business process services. Together, we offer solutions like Wipro's Virtua Desk, an award-winning VDI-as-a-service that places user experience management at its core using predictive analytics and application performance assurance. Digital database services that allows customers to provision and manage databases just in time using Nutanix Era to bring one-click simplicity and invisible operations to provisioning and lifecycle management. 
and Wipro's boundaryless container platform, App Anywhere, that leverages Nutanix Carbon to deliver end-to-end -end automation of container and application life cycles while guaranteeing operational and business SLAs. Wipro has also been a hybrid cloud pioneer through the Nutanix Cluster's early access program, among the first to experience the power of seamless multi-cloud operations through a unified management plane. Wipro and Nutanix are better together, united in their commitment to helping customers prepare for and create a better, more resilient future. That was fantastic, Bala. Thank you so much for sharing how our database as a service solutions are helping customers. And really grateful for Wipro for your partnership across many, many areas, including, of course, databases, desktops, and much more. But I do know that we have a bigger ecosystem of partners we work with. And Tarkin, I'd love to talk to you about that because you're leading the charge in creating that ecosystem with all of our major partnerships. So would love your perspective on that. Thank you, Monica. Monica, as we discussed over the past couple of days, key ingredients for success for a company is all about IP differentiation, innovation and leadership, all about operational excellence, and obviously customer partner intimacy, true customer partner intimacy. So on that note, I wanna thank all our partners, including Wipro, that amazing video, obviously, but beyond that, all our partners truly supported us throughout the years and over the past couple of days throughout this event. All our diamond partners, including Fujitsu, HPE, Intel, Lenovo, some of our platinum partners, AMD, Haiku, Palo Alto Networks, TCS, Veeam, and Wipro, and many others, all our global partners from all over the world. Anyway, thank you, grazie, gracias, feeling dunk, merci beaucoup, arigato gozaimasu, shei shei shukran, wherever you're from, you support us. Thank you, all our partners and let's have a great FI21. Back to you, Monica. Thank you so much, Tarkan. You know, there's a saying which says it takes a village, and that's what we have here for our customers so we can support their business outcomes. So now we are nearing the end of our session, and to wrap it up for us, I'd like to invite one of our key leaders at Nutanix, uh, Thomas Cornelli, our SVP of Portfolio Product Management. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you, Monica. It's great to be here. You know what, Thomas, we've spent the last couple of days talking about our portfolio, one platform, any application, any cloud. I'm really interested to hear your perspective on it and also give us a recap of the key announcements that you've heard in the last two days. Yeah, so I mean, you just made a comment that it takes a village, right, in many ways to go and get things done. And, you know, my view, obviously, looking at products and portfolio products, it takes a portfolio. And, uh, you know, we, you know, I want to thank, you know, yourself, Tarkin, Manoj, Bala, Nicola, and Rajiv, right, for walking us through a lot of the innovations that are going into all these products that truly make and show, demonstrate the power of our internet cloud platform, right? And that platform really starts with our digital HCI as the foundation, supporting our data center services, our, des our DevOps services, and our desktop services. All this that can be deployed truly anywhere, right? And so this has really been a great, great session. Um, you know, thanks everyone for spending the last couple of hours with us. And so just to sum summarize here, right, and kind of call out some of the key innovation that we covered. We talked about how we help you, get, help you run better, right? And we talked about Foundation Central to help you go and actually manage large environments at scale and manage deployment and uh, updates at scale. We covered AOS Block Store and SPDK that allows you to go and run more efficiently on NVMe storage, particularly. We talked about our files and object storage, which are, you know, mature, and we trusted platforms nowadays to go and, and store petabytes of data. We went into operations and talked about Prism Ultimate, which is a new offering that now goes one level up and gives you application insights so that you know not only how you're running your VMs, but what you're running in your VMs. Um, we introduced something new around Flow with Flow Security Central so that you actually get more AI and automation to discover what's going on in terms of your different network traffic and so you can actually automatically go and deploy new policies to go and protect your virtual machines. And last but not least, when you take a step back, 
we also give you some, some information on Nutonix Insights, you know, which is basically Nutonix giving you advice on how to best run your environment and how to optimize your different VNs. We also covered a couple of previews, right? One around virtual networking, which is really important as we look at this, you know, hybrid cloud and multi-cloud era, allowing you to go and run and move workloads without having to go and change the networking configurations across multiple sites and multiple clouds. And we also give you a preview on Nutanix Central to give you one single pane of glass to manage all of your assets and get a view of all of your different services and spin up new services in your infrastructure. When it comes to running faster, you know, we could have talked about performance on AOS, but we actually focused on how you can run faster and deploy new applications faster using carbon pads, right? And this is a new offering that allows you now to go and build cloud native applications for on-prem or in multi-cloud. We talked about Calm, which is now available as a service. So you no longer have to go and deploy anything. You get Calm and you can now automate deployment and application lifecycle management directly on any type of infrastructure that you may have on-prem or in the cloud. And last but not least, you know, Bala went into the innovations coming into ERA and more specifically our support of SAP HANA, supporting very large VMs in terms of memory footprint on our core infrastructure. And what makes all this very special is the fact that we now allow you to go and run all of this, take the whole Utilis Cloud platform and run it anywhere. Whether you're running on-premises, on any hardware, running it, run it on AWS with clusters on AWS, in a couple of months, in a few months, running it on Azure, and so it's provider networks or in our own Utilis Cloud environment to get our own services for disaster recovery as a service and very soon more than that. So, you know, it's been a great session. We, we covered a lot of ground. I think we touched on a lot of key innovations that should show you the, the value and the power of the platform. And all I can say now is just, you know, hopefully people can go and select the right sessions, go learn more, get more details and have a great event. Thank you, Thomas. You've done a fantastic job of taking two days worth of announcements and innovation and really succinctly put it in two minutes. And I think I'm going to call it Thomas's top 10 list of innovations or something like that. <laughs> Thank you. So with that, Tarkan, I'm going to give you one more opportunity to share any key takeaway that you want to leave our audience with. Thank you, Monica. And thank you, Thomas. Wow. What an amazing set of announcements in the last couple of days and what an amazing year so far, despite the fact we have all these challenges around the world, all these risks, but we're creating all these opportunities. As one of my most favorite founding fathers in the United States, also one of the most important polymaths of his time, Benjamin Franklin said, human beings are divided in three categories. Those who are immovable, those who are movable, and those just move. They move themselves and they move others. So on that note, all the Newtons, the Nutanix Worldwide team, all our customers, all our partners, all our supporters, let's just keep moving and have a great FI2 in one together. Thank you. On that fantastic note, I wanna thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you to Monica and all her guests, some really insightful and also practical insights there. Now, I just want to point you in the direction of an on-demand.next session that I just know you guys will love. Um, it comes from Lovey, who is a writer and speaker with a keen eye on all things pop culture and media. Not only does she have razor sharp wit, she also touts herself, I love this, as a professional troublemaker. My kind of girl then. Uh, her session is on demand, but here's a little taster of it before you head out into the rest of your day. It's really important to commit to the truth as a form of activism, as a form of justice seeking, and as a form of just being a great human being. It's a day-to-day -day decision. It's gonna be tough, but it's really important because tough things are usually the most significant. And that's the thing about the truth. Oftentimes people are like, you know, the truth is gonna ruffle feathers. The truth's point is not to ruffle feathers. The truth's point is not to have you most liked. The truth's point is so that you leave rooms better than you found it. You leave this world better than you found it. And it's gonna be hard. So just a reminder to come back here after the breakout sessions for our closing keynote, which will be followed immediately by the Dot Next show, starring the world-class Trevor Noah. See you then.
when things change around us, the strongest businesses do things a little differently. After all, even big changes can be the start of something great. Making work more productive and rewarding. And helping you stand out with new efficiencies. That's why Fujitsu and Nutanix have come together to create a Citrix-ready solution. For a future without boundaries. An infrastructure that can start small and affordable, but is built to scale, to flex, to meet new frontiers. Yet stay secure. Choose the perfect fit for your business with our range of flexible solutions.